Okay, and welcome to my spray paint studio. And uh, again, my name is Andre Wright, owner and founder of Divinal Toy and Apparel, and uh, graphic designer, artist, poet extraordinaire. Okay, maybe not extraordinaire yet. Um, so here's a little bugger that we're gonna start on right here. He's in a, that's an old uh, design right there. Made him into looking like a Nazi skinhead. This actually is another one of my creations. And uh, pretty much what I did was turned his head into a, a skateboard wheel. That's another concept. Um, this was actually the bottom of the head. Yeah, it came on and uh, popped it out, put a hole in the other side, and turned it into a skate wheel, putting a bearing in there. Um, it's not a regular bearing. It's a ball bearing from like a... Uh, a machine I got at the Ace Hardware. So we're going to take this guy, put him out of the way there so we can actually focus on him. Now make sure you got a mat right below it or some kind of newspaper or something so you don't get spray everywhere. And um, you know first uh, first thing we got to do right here, take this little puppy up and see what we got going. Apparently this one is sealed a little bit more than most spray paint cans, so I'm going to have to put you guys down with a nice view here. Maybe, if I can. Okay. Alright, you guys are going to have to look up first. Alright, now with those kind of interruptions said, there's a couple ways to go about doing what you got to do here. Most people, as most graffiti artists know, you got to use them fucking latex gloves right there. Keep your fingers all nice and clean and stuff. Um, it's always uh, important. And um, if you got the money for like 30 bucks at Lowe's or Home Depot, you can get yourself a little gas mask if you're doing a lot of spray painting. It's got the removable filter. So, let's get started. I'm gonna shake up this little can, very tiny little can. This is, um, this is, uh, you know, testers, lacquers for like uh, model toy cars and whatnot. We're gonna take him, and if he would stay up, we're gonna take him and start him off with a with a base coat right here. And we gotta make sure that we're about. Anywhere from like a foot away, pretty much. Anywhere from a foot to two. That kind of worked out in a way. I didn't necessarily need it to do that. But um, kind of started out this way. So now we got our single first coat right there. Maybe get a little bit more on this right here. Just cover up everything. This kind of has a little bit of a sheen to it. It looks like it's a little bit of a, a glitter thing going on. Which is uh, kind of really effing cool. All right, so we got the first coat going on right there, and uh, pretty much we're gonna have to come back to this as soon as the front is dried and do the backside. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, um, but uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, signing out. 